So now let's start working on the front end application. For that, let me open the Visual Studio Code. So now let's open the terminal and create the the project next.js project so let's go to the directory so it's like okay so let's go to desktop cd desktop cd workspace ls so we have the bookstore project so cd bookstore project and we have and here we have the book service book service is the backend service that we have created so now let's uh, create one next.js app so for that npx uh, create next app and let's name it as uh, book app okay the book service is the backend that will be dealing with the DynamoDB and now the book app for the frontend part so npx create act create next app book app okay so uh, typescript no eslink no tailwind no source no no Elias, yeah and for the uh, for the uh, front end we need two dependency one is like the bootstrap and one is exios exios for calling the book service okay so let's add it right now so npm install bootstrap and exios okay bootstrap spelling is correct and yeah okay first let's open that open this uh, project here so open desktop workspace bookstore and book app okay yeah now let's uh, terminal so here you can see there is no uh, bootstrap and xdo so let's add it pwd we are in correct folder okay so npm install bootstrap and xdos so as you can see the bootstrap and xdos has been added okay so let's close this package.json as we don't need it and let's run this okay npm run dev okay in dev mode so let's see what is happening so localhost 3000 so as you can see this is the like the default uh, ui that is uh, uh, shown for the next uh, js app let's go and remove all the um, unnecessary things so for this style i don't need anything remove it for the home remove it i'm not gonna use sophisticated styling so let's remove it, those things for public i don't need these three uh, images as, uh, as well so remove all these three and in the okay from the pages i don't need any app uh, api so i'm not gonna create any api from the front end so i'm removing that entirely so now we have the index so let's clear this index okay so now let's have my name pushkar kumar okay so now we have pushkar kumar okay so now let's um, set up the layout okay so the layout is so like so layout is basically uh, for a website you you have seen that the header and footer part are same for all the pages so that's called the layout okay so where on the middle part changes and the top and the bottom remains the same so that's called the layout and there is a standard format to create a layout in next.js app so we'll use the exactly same uh before that let's uh have the bootstrap in our system because right now bootstrap is not i i have only the dependencies but bootstrap won't work so let's make it first work okay so remove this from our home okay don't need this uh, three so in the app.js we need to import our bootstrap okay so first import bootstrap distribution css and bootstrap.css to for this the css part now start working the bootstrap has the css there are some component that are only based on css but there are some component that are based on the javascript as well so, so there is a javascript library for bootstrap as well okay to make it work properly we need to use a use effect hook okay so let's use this and import dynamically the bootstrap js the js uh 
js part okay so bootstrap distribution js and then bootstrap okay and okay so now the bootstrap is uh, enabled in our system so bootstrap is now working so as you can see okay so use effect is not defined so let's first fetch it from the react okay so now as you can see the the font of pushkar kumar has little change you might not be able to see the difference but yeah it's little change than the standard html okay so now let's go and uh, have our layout okay so for that we will create one uh, folder called component where i will have all my react components components and in that i will have my layout layout jobs yes so export default function layout and the layout will so it's a standard format so layout will accept children and then return let's make it main children okay let's add this layout in our app dot uh, js so here so now we have our layout as well okay so now let's create our nav bar okay so in the component we'll have our navbar navbar dot js export default function navbar return which is the segment and let's copy the standard navbar code from the google so boot strap now bar oh dot and then go to the now bar this now bar so let's take the the top one so now bar copy it so let's paste that little format and i don't need this bar i don't need this drop down as well so let's go and remove this part okay and in react uh, the class is not class word you can't use it so let's change it to class name to use uh, css uh, bootstrap css classes uh, correctly let's change all And let's use this navbar in the layout okay so as you can see the navbar is added let's make some changes in the in the navbar so let's put the index here make it let's make it nav bar uh, dark and also bg a uh, dark okay to make the words okay, as you can see the navbar is not dark and let's uh, make this as fluid uh, not fluid the container because i wanted to start from the middle rather than the rather it take the whole width of the screen and also i want to move this home and link to the right side 
so for that uh, i will use ms auto so now it's it will move to the right side and let's change uh, let's change the links so for navbar it will be like book store and it will point me to the root directory okay and for the home it will be like add book and it will take me to the url add book and the other one will be about us and it will take me to about us okay so now let's create this about book and uh, add book and about us page okay let's go in the pages and create add book dot js and about us dot js okay so export default function about us return about us and almost same thing in add book export default function add book okay let's check it so here in the root directory it is taking us to this root page and add book is taking us to the add book and add book is coming and about us will take us to about us link and about us is coming okay so now let's add a now, so now let's use exios to call our backend uh, service api and get the list of all books and then we'll show in the ui okay so for that let's use exios and since exius is interacting with the backend service so we'll create one uh, let's separate it out from the normal um, directory structure and create a folder called service and inside it let's create one book service dot js okay so here i will define all the exius related uh, functions so let's import exius okay let's create one const exios client is equals to exios dot create and then exios client dot defaults dot base url let's have our base url base url will be http 127.0.10.1 okay and now let's export our functions our functions will be like um, export async um, get request it will take one url and and call the create client okay not create client the exios client to get the data from that url so get url and it will return a promise so let's use that so response so whatever response it will get it will return that response and if there is any error then it will log into the console console dot log error okay and let's capture the response and hit on the response dot data okay and similarly let's have the so i will use so we will use the get request for both get all the books and also one specific book okay it will serve both the use case 
so for the put uh, so now we need a put post and delete so export async function post request it will take a url and payload and co's client dot post url payload then response Sol dot log and return the response. Okay, and response will be the response return by this exios. The put request will be same as this post. So let's just use put and put. Okay, so now let's have the delete export. Async function delete request URL and fast response response so now we are done with the exios part so this exios is now uh, this will call the uh, book service or, or any service that is present on this uh, host let's also add the port number 8080 okay and whatever the url so it will use that url af after this base url and make a call uh, accordingly whether it is a put call or get call or post call okay so this get request will return the the data okay the actual data of the response and these uh, three will return the response because i'm not going gonna use the data is written by this so that's why i have used only response okay so now let's uh, call this get request in our index and let's see whether we are able to get all the requests or not okay all the book details or not 